All right, so we're going to test out some of the re-entry heating in the new Kerbal Space Program 1.0. Uh, I wanted to see if some of our old, more non-aerodynamically sound designs would work with re-entry heating or if they would explode. So the way I'm going to test this out is I'm boosting all the way past Minmus to basically right at escape velocity. Uh, I'll back it off right around here and there we go, burn retrograde. And that should give us the greatest amount of speed coming back down into Kerbin's atmosphere uh, without leaving Kerbin's system. So use the Warp 2 feature to go all the way up to Apple Apps. And we're going to go ahead and lower the peri apps when we get there to right around eh, 18, 20,000 meters, somewhere in there. Uh, and then once we do that, we can go ahead and warp some more. And I'm going to warp a little bit before periaps. That way uh, I'm not going to miss it or crash into it if there are any sort of bugs. Just go a little bit further in here. And we're going to do the rest of it this way. Now you can see the ship design here, not aerodynamic at all. I've got two nuclear engines on the side and uh, a big flat bottom tank with for the landing gear. Unfortunately, we're landing on the night side here. Um... So it'll be a little dark, but at least you get to see the nice bits of the re-entry heating and look at all the fun animations. Now they've reworked all the atmospheric sounds quite a bit, so I'm going to let you guys go ahead and listen and enjoy those and all the fun stuff that goes along. Space Center. Not too far off. So there we go, a complete re-entry with no heat shield on a really aerodynamically unsound craft uh, that has no right to really be still there. We're going to go ahead and stage the parachute so that there's not a huge yank. And uh, yeah, so you don't need heat shields for at least within the Kerbin system. Uh, if you do put stuff on the outside, like science experiments, those will explode. I tested that earlier, but mine are safe inside the cargo bay. So uh, tune in next time. I'll have